myself What a chance if I were Steve? Steve? Steve! Uh, Bucky! Uh, baby, what's up? Is this a good idea? I know that we wanted to relive some of our Texas memories, but this just feels wrong. I know, right? I'm used to ignoring our neighbors, avoiding eye contact, and stepping over sidewalk feces to get the mail. Did we get enough food? Xanthor's on a hunger strike, so Z's covered. <gasps> Do you think we got enough tofu dogs? Those are tofu dogs, aren't they? Yeah! <laughs> of course they are. What else would they be? Hey, babe, why don't you offer them some of your delicious quinoa salad? By them? Do you mean Zynthia, whose pronoun is them? Or do you mean them as in the group? I know a lot about chocolate. You're right, that can be confusing. Why don't we just ask them? Uh, they. Zay. Yay? This is some whole wolf shit. Hi! Hi! <laughs> I recognize some of these people from avoiding eye contact while stepping over sidewalk feces from getting mail, but who are they? Yeah, those are our squatters. The formerly homeless people. We're not allowed to kick out of our house. <laughs> Your house? You know you reside on the traditional, ancestral, and unceded homelands of the Tongva, Shumash, and Kish people? Of course. But I don't think that these squatters are any of those three. <laughs> They're decent tenants for LA, but you have to be careful not to step on any of the used needles they like to decorate with. <laughs> Yeah, we tried to clean up before y'all came, but you know how the unhoused are. You clean up and then two seconds later, there's needles all over the floor again. <laughs> <laughs> so I wanted to ask, did you find the people in Texas were like horribly racist and homophobic and super intolerant? And like always saying horrible things about the people from California? You mean like making really negative assumptions about people who live out of state that you know literally nothing about? Yes, exactly that. Nope. They didn't do that at all. Oh, did you get that broom? Oh, you got the broom? Who are they? I got it. I don't know. I saw them earlier and I figured they were probably the squatters. Friend. Excuse me. Hi. Are you robbing us? I don't know. Is, is this your house? Yeah. Yeah, that, you, we're, we're robbing you. Yeah. Well, stop it. Please. Ah, uh, I'm good. Then I'm calling the police. Well, then we would wait around for an hour, um, but we got a full day today. We got the, the CVS, we got the Nike store. Okay. Pickleball. Got a pickleball game got pickleball. at 5.30. Then I'll stop you myself. Whoa, cool it, Blackie Chan. <laughs> Back on up. <laughs> Drop it, punk. You know what stops a bad guy with a gun? A good guy! Or girl! With a gun! Hey! You could have put it down gently! Rude! Yeah! Babe, that was incredible! Yeah! <laughs> You're the best! You people are crazy! And dangerous! Well, bless your hearts. <laughs> well, you know what this means? Yeah. More all beef hot dogs for us! <laughs> no. no. Well, yes, more meat for us, but also, I think... We're Texans. <laughs> Babe, there's someone coming. She has a gun. I'm calling the cops. We're recording you. Oh, no, no, no. We're just your neighbors. Just coming by to say howdy and welcome y'all to the neighborhood. I don't get it. You're in Texas now, sweetie. You'll get used to it. Might even come to like it. Jerky. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hey Babylon Bee fans, I have a big announcement that is not satire. We wrote an actual book that has actual drawings with actual humor and you can actually buy it with actual money. 
This is the Babylon Bee Guide to Democracy. It's your guide to rigging elections, peaceful protests and insurrections, and more. Pick it up today.